Hello, stylers. Welcome back to the Full Style Ink channel for another video. My name is Nadia, and I am the creator and founder of Full Style Ink. <sighs> no, your eyes do not deceive you. I had time today, so I'm filming multiple videos in the same outfit. Do can I change? Yes. Well, I know because why? Cute. Get over it. So, today's video, as you can see by the title, as you can see by the title, is a roundup, a wrap-up of quarter three of 2022. All the things I made in August, wait, what other months? July, August, and September. <sighs> and I'm excited because I, 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 I did myself. I did. I feel like I keep looking, I'm like, I feel like I'm missing something. But I'm like, no, I feel like this is everything I did. If I'm missing something, I would drop it at the end in like a quick little clip. But I'm pretty sure this is everything that I s made. Yes. So, let's get into it. First thing, very first thing, something that is not clothes related, but I made it. I made it. And it is this beautiful denim handbag. Using, of course, recycled denim and some vintage bed sheets on the inside. Has a pocket. Has my brand's label. You can see that. As well as some stitching down here. I love this. I made this. Um, I got the idea probably mid-June. And I started the construction on it in July. Because I had a pop-up and I really wanted these to make their debut at the pop-up. So, I launched these in July. These beautifully upcycled, handmade, crafted denim bags. They are so cute. So very cute. Uh, I'm so very proud of them. I want to share this with you guys because you guys asked about some of my pay work and you asked about my shop stuff. So this is something you can find in my online boutique, The Creation. I will leave that link below if any of you guys are interested. These bags are some of my hot listers right now. And um, I'm looking to relaunch these for the fall. Um, so the pre-sale list will be open up soon as soon as the final of these if the few that are left sell out so <laughs> I have to just add that because I'm super proud of that bag and there's a story with that bag and just the aftermath of me making that and then we going to LA and something happened in LA I have hinted at this before but I'm really proud of that bag so anywho when we run along the first one I want to talk about is something that I'm really, really proud of. Really, really proud of. This was a completion into a project that I did last year. Um, and that is my first attempt to make my own blazer using that beautiful um, lavender fabric from Mood. And I made me a pair. I made me like a vest, vest crop top and a pair of shorts. There is a tutorial on this. I will leave that linked here or down below in the playlist i made me these two pieces to complete my dreams of having a three piece suit just in time for fall <sighs> so cute so we have this cute little we have this cute little blazer in this v-neck style i say blazer vest um i there are some construction not construction there are some fit issues i attempted to have the hook and eye closure on the side with some buttons going down but by the end of me wearing this in church they was popping off they were like girl you struggled so i do need to go back and add like a little panel to a uh, uh to give at length to this so that it's easier for them to cross over and there's not much strain with me pulling and moving on the side because i do see myself wearing this again in multiple ways but it's a simple v style vest top um i think it's how many pieces Ooh, shoot. like four pieces well three but four pieces two fronts a back and uh, a band at the bottom love it simple again that's a tutorial i will give this a four out of five four out of five 
up is the cute little pair of shorts that accompany it. These were made with the same material, obviously, but um, also this was made with the Astra, with the Astra pants from the pant pattern from Mood Soul Society. That is the only pattern so far that I have used multiple times because I do use them again for something else um, that I like. The only thing is the instructions. That's my only issue with some of the Mood patterns is their instructions are very holes are missing gaps are missing i've had this conversation but i was able to get myself around this and not uh, the only thing is when i get to the fly section i don't follow what i see i with the pants i made last year the floor pants i made last summer i went and looked and see what other people were doing with that type of fly and so i've just been copying that method that i use looking at my own tutorial to learn what i do to finish these pants so these look cute little shorts so cute they have pockets they have a nice cute little flare again i will be wearing these again if i could get me some brown tights oh wait that's gonna be cute We're going in no specific order so i give the vest a four out of five i give the the pants four out of five i really really love those pants those little shorts um so freaking cute love the i uh, love the vest can't wait to make the corrections on it so that i can re-wear it again so moving on is a upcycle that was another tutorial you guys got a lot of tutorials i'm really proud of myself of how consistent i've been so this cute little number if you've been here you know this cute little number this this um upcycle denim apron belt skirt situation that was inspired by angeline from blueprint diy i made this using different pair of jeans for the front and the back really really love how this come came out um i have other i've only worn it once but i cannot wait to be able to style this for different events or functions that i would be going to this fall and winter because this is such a great fun layering piece and i will give this five out of five dresses so stinking cute so proud of it i do have some more material that i would like to attempt another version of this just to add some variety and spice to my life so stay tuned for that next up i have something that i didn't quite make but is an upcycle and i think i uploaded this as a short um and that is these two painted button ups that i have the OGs, my OG stylists. You guys should know this shirt. You should be familiar with this shirt. This is one of my beloved of all time thrift finds. This oversized, almost lime neon green men's button up that I got back when I was living in Ohio. So I have had this seven, eight if not nine years, absolutely love this thing. Um, I think yeah, I got it back when I was living in Ohio and I was working at TJ Maxx. So, man, I was working at TJ Maxx like 2012, 2013. So for almost 10 years, I've had this shirt. Like this, one of the first things I found at a thrift store. So, and I've not been able to find this equal. Honestly, I've been looking for a man's shirt this big. <laughs> so I got, I wore it to work one day. As an art teacher, I wore it to work, got paint on it, and I was like, no, it's ruined. So, no, it's not. I literally just paint slotted it, paint brush, and it's like now one of the dopest ticket things I own. And then I did the same thing similar with this white button up. That's just from Target, Ava and Viv. Wore it to work, accidentally got paint, or I think it was actually ink on it. And so, win-win. So, now I got two versions of the same type of shirt. One that is more light and flowy and, like, colorful and playful, and the other one that's more street style grungy grinch because of the dark paint that i used on it so like love that for me i love that for me i'll give these four out of five both these are four out of five because honestly i already loved them especially this green one and now i just love it even more so like can't really hate on it you know you know what i'm saying next i want to talk about a few um this was a challenge or a task i wanted to do for myself and that was to make a few that I mean few aprons so i made myself a few aprons 
to wear when I'm painting or crafting or when I'm at work. So I don't get more paint on my clothes. I only have one apron. It was kind of small. So I wanted something that was going to cover the boobs and stomach. So I have this one here. I need to fix it because one of the little kids was pulling so hard <laughs> at my straps when I had unstrapped it that it came out. So I need to fix that. But it is this one here. This one's kind of sturdier and heavier. And then I have another one. I have another one at work that has these beautiful butterflies on it so multi-colorful and then i have this one that i have not uh added the snaps onto but it's this cute little one that has this paris french design on it and it has more of a flared almost 1950s 1960s style to it with the little skirt and the little pockets and the little pleated really cute i don't know what i would be wearing her i don't know what i would be doing when i'm wearing her but there's a fantasy and i'm gonna live it okay i get both of those four out of five i'm biased guys i i, I have to be so next up that's something i'm really proud of it was a a challenge something i said i wanted to do i wanted to have and i had to step in in high gear because i have a i had an event that i wanted to wear it to um, I had a wedding, my little cousin's wedding. She got married to her best friend, high school sweetheart um, of 10 years. They've been together for a while. So, um, yeah, they've been together for almost 10 years. Anywho, they've been together for a while. They got married and she had a she had a theme. She was like, you know, only solid colors, no patterns. And I was like, I right, say less. I had this fabric. I knew what I wanted to do with it. So I made this uh color block button up. Now she's a faux button up. Cause she was supposed to be a she was supposed to be a button up, but something happened in my pattern making, my pattern drafting, or construction, or cutting or sewing where she doesn't quite lay how she needs to lay in order to be a full button up. So she became like a cute little crossover V neck line top. And I'm going to go with it. I'm going to let her live that life. Okay. So me constructing my own button up. Stay tuned. It's coming because she did not quite work out. Um, so have this cute little thing. I love the multi colors color block it gives it so much fun i can wear this so many different ways with so many different tops as long as i have something that i'm able to tuck it in or yeah something i'm able to tuck it in because of the fact that i can't button it all the way up which is kind of a bummer but i'm gonna live i'm gonna live so i give her i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna give her a three out of five because it really hurt my feelings that i couldn't button her up like i had such good ideas for her but Back to the drawing up for a button up. And I do have some construction issues. So I'm going to give her a 3 out of 5. Now, to accompany that beautiful darling, I made my first pair of satin pants. This is a stretch satin. Um, I want to say I got it from... It wasn't Fabric Wholesale Direct. It wasn't that. It wasn't Fabric.com. It wasn't Mood. It was another site. I ordered a bunch of fabric because I was planning to do some stuff for my boutique. This was last year, um, right after I had my surgery, right before my grandma passed. So I didn't do anything with the fabric. So I've just been using it to make clothes. I, I, some of the stuff is going to be used for my shop. But anywho, so I don't remember exactly where I got this fabric from. But the blue and this maroon burgundy are the same, from the same place, same type of fabric. And I made me another pair of pants using the astrid uh pant pattern from mood soul society i really like that pattern i may make a few more things using that pattern um it definitely is some more shorts so i used this for the party uh, unfortunately i didn't have a zipper the length that i needed so i cut a zipper and then i didn't i guess i thought i had closed it off sewed it off properly I didn't. I broke a zipper in the process, and I thought I was still good because I went in and hand sewed a little bit. I didn't. So when I was at the wedding, a little tipsy, I had to use the bathroom. I used the bathroom, and 
I guess was moving too much popped off and the zipper broke so I couldn't zip back up so there's a that's like an hour or two of the wedding of the wedding reception of the wedding reception where I'm literally holding my pants together <laughs> but anywho I really love these um I do wish that I had made the length a little longer because of the satin it does like rub up and like it gives you that weird little flooding gathering in the middle of your legs and your thigh but that's a me issue so I'm going to give these a four out of five. Um, actually, yeah, three and a half. Three and a half because I love the padding. I love the look. I love the drip. It's just the issue with me, human, zipper. And then I should have made it a little longer to account for how they was going to bunch up and roll up in between my thighs. Yes. Speaking of satin, I had uh, enough of that blue material left over that I hodgepodge me together a pair of shorts. Now, I did not use the pattern, the, the Astra pattern, because I didn't have that much. But I did make me a cute little pair of satin shirts. I am going to love these for party season. I'm going to love this for the holiday parties and the holiday events that I hope that I'm able to go to with a cute with a pair of cute sparkle tights or like rhinestone studded tights and a cute little boot booty or loafer that I hopefully find that I'm able to be comfortable and wear but these are going to be so so cute I haven't worn them out and about but I tried them on and I love them I love how I feel in them I do wish I was able to put a pocket in them but that's okay but it's going to be so cute so cute and i have like some tops in the works that i could wear this with or maybe i could find like a sequence top oh sequence top with these and then like sparkled tights with a blazer oh i'm gonna be cute so yes cute little hot pants cannot wait to wear these out and about um uh, last piece I have this cute little crop top. Guys, you know how much I feel about crop tops and bustiers. Don't come from me. It's part of my identity now. We must all accept it. So, I have this cute little gingham fabric that I got from New Rainbow Fabric here in Chicago. And I really, really liked it. I was holding on to it for the late summer and fall. And I made this cute little bustier crop top with it. Because I also made... Oh, for the satin the satin shorts, five out of five. I haven't worn them yet. I don't know how they're going to act when I'm out in public, but for the pure aesthetics of them along, five out of five. So, to go with the little cute little gingham crop top, I made me a pair of a pair of this was actually, this was secondary to this and the fact that I <laughs> So, I originally set out to make my first pair of skirts. So, I created these cute little skirts out of this gingham material. So, it looks like a little skirt in the front, shorts in the back. I have yet to finish these, so these are these are unfinished, which is crazy because I made this because of these. Like this was the ideal. I had enough left over to make a crop top. So I just need to finish them. I just need to finish the edges and hem the shorts part. Uh, but I made these because I was hoping if the weather still hold, I would be able to go apple picking to a on pumpkin orchard, perfect a pumpkin patch or apple orchard, or some fall activity like that. And I could be like the farmer's girl, the scarecrow. Of course, I'm gonna wear like tights. And like a long sleeve under the crop top but like how stinking cute Ugh, so on theme yeah so cute i love it i can't i honestly can't wait to wear it out i don't i'm gonna find a way to wear it somewhere i don't know where but it's gonna get worn okay all right so i give the little crop top because i've made this before um in different material this is not my denim one this is another one i can't remember which one it is so she gets a five out of five i haven't really worn and finished these so i can't rate them so by the time this video is editing and go up maybe i'll have a rate so i'll leave it 
I'll leave it on the screen. So, so speaking of unfinished projects, there were some projects that I started and didn't finish. And now we're in October. But I wanted to include them because I started them. So one of them being the pair of shorts. And another one being... Ooh, ooh, and another being my attempt at a button up. Uh oh, inside out. So I used this beautiful fabric. Dang, where did I get this fabric from? I don't know if I got this fabric from Mood or I got this fabric from New Rainbow Fabric. I don't know where I got, I don't remember where I got this fabric from, honestly. Wow. It may have been from Mood when I was on a fabric buying craze last year. It may have been from Mood. I can't remember. But I used another Mood's pattern. I think it was a Clark shirt. And I made this button up. Now it's unfinished. I stopped and paused it because there was other things I wanted to do that was more time sensitive that I was making for like specific things. Um, and then I had like a client, I had an order, a huge order come in for a client. So I need to finish the sleeves, cuffing the sleeves, and then I need to hem it. And then I need to figure out if I'm going to really sit through and put buttons on this or I'm going to do faux buttons with like a snap. Because I don't know if I want to sew, sit here and sew buttonholes. So, I want to finish this. Because I can still wear this in the winter. And definitely again comes spring. So, this is unfinished. And then there's one unfinished project that I did not bring up. And that is a satin, a black satin uh, shirt with like the strong shoulders. Like the power shoulders. The, the uh, shoulder pads t-shirt. Like the muscle tee. Um, I will insert a picture of what I'm saying. I really want to use the uh i i went and had and used the fabric that i have left over from making my satin skirt i made a satin black satin slip skirt earlier this year and so i wanted to use that to make a satin top so i can like have it as like almost like a two-piece but also wear that satin top with 20 million other things in other different ways so i will be finishing that because that's going to be dope for the fall and winter because again i can layer that that's a t-shirt t-shirt style so that can be layered so yes guys these are all of the things i made in the past three months i did a lot i did a lot i made a bunch of cute little two two piece sets or three pieces and i really really love that um super excited love my bag and I hope you guys love the bags as well. Um, like I said, I am working on my fall collection, my fall pieces. So I, re I would really love to reintroduce the bag and bring some tweaks to her. Probably change the size or whatever. Um, and so I'm going to start the pre-orders on that later in the month for what she's going to be looking like for the fall. So you guys, if you want the original size and how they originally are. Now each bag is different. So... Some of them have a front pocket, some of them don't. But if you want the ones that are here currently now, get those now. Because the new styles with the pre-order are going to be slightly, they're going to be different. So, yes. Yeah. So, I think that's it. That's it. That's it. Alright guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys are having a marvelous spectacular time this October as you get into the fall festivities having fun I know I am um hopefully I'll have like some vlogs and maybe a spooky tutorial or two coming up so stay tuned for that I love you guys so so much um if you're new here be sure to subscribe like and ring that bell again my name is Nadia welcome to full style I'm so excited to have you here all right guys Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, 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 so very much. Remember, you are loved. You are worthy to be loved. But most importantly, always remember it to love yourself fully. Until next time.